Hey everyone, this is Kevin the Entrepreneur. Welcome to my channel and today, uh, well, it's happened. It's happened. As you can see, for a long time on my Twitter account, I used to have this little joke, blue check mark. That was just what I did, but as you can see here, I now have a check mark. I am verified. I am a verified Twitter user. And that means, yes, I'm one of those poor saps who decided to pay for Twitter blue. Now, in all fairness, I was paying for Twitter Blue before Elon Musk announced the changes. Twitter Blue does have some value even before this verified check mark. But I figured, well, since it kind of gives you the option to switch over to the new Twitter Blue account, you're not just going to get automatically transferred. It's going to, you're going to get a notification that, um, your, uh, current Twitter Blue account is going to be ending and to check out the new Twitter Blue and to subscribe if you want to, which by the way, you can also subscribe to this channel if you want to. And I decided to do that not only because Twitter Blue did hold some value, but I figured, well, what the heck, maybe I can actually do a little video review of what Twitter Blue looks like under Elon Musk, at least so far. So this is a first impressions thing. So obviously, the first thing that you're going to get is a Twitter blue check mark. It's right there. But what exactly are you getting in addition to the check mark when you pay for Twitter blue? Uh, I know people are having a little bit of a meltdown with Twitter blue. In fact, I think it's, uh, well, at least it was trending a little earlier today. And people are making fun of some of the problems with Twitter blue. Admittingly, there have been some issues with it. Um, but you do get more than just the check mark. And uh, we're going to talk about the check mark in a bit because it is probably the most important thing that is coming with Elon Musk's Twitter Blue, but it is also the biggest liability and the naysayers have some points. So first of all, let's go. So see, my Twitter Blue subscription is active. And it says, new, blue looks good on you. Enjoy your verified account and blue check mark. And we'll talk about that verified account thing in a minute. But See your member benefits and manager settings. So what exactly do you get with the um, Twitter Blue? Well, let's look at the features that you get. Well, first of all, you get to edit tweets up to five times within 30 minutes of tweeting. Your edit history is visible to anyone who wants to see the evolution of a tweet. So that's interesting because I think the main reason you would want to edit a tweet is to remove a comment that maybe you didn't really mean to say or it was done by mistake. But by having a history that is visible to anyone, they can still track the mistake. I don't see how this necessarily removes the uh, delete tweet option, but there you go. Uh, you can share 1080p video. Now, some people might be going, well, why would you want to share a 1080p video on the site? Well, Elon Musk does at some point want to bring monetization to videos and tweets to Twitter. And this is the first step. So this is getting the ball rolling. And people who upload 1080p videos might actually have a little bit of a leg up. You can upload longer videos, upload and tweet videos that are up to 10 minutes long. Now, this is obviously if it's in the Twitter site itself, any video you shared could be as long as it wanted to before. But that's what you get now. You can undo a tweet, and this is actually the most interesting one. You can set a timer to undo sent tweets and choose which kind of tweets you want to undo. Now, this one has an arrow on it, so these are the uh, tweets you can undo. Select which types of tweets you want to undo before they're public, plus how long your um, undo period is. And this is uh, interesting. So if you have any of these tweets and you have this check like you see how I have this clicked right here that means I will have 20 seconds to undo the tweet before it goes out you know that moment that you have or we've heard of these moments where you hit that tweet button the tweet goes out and a few seconds later uh oh maybe I don't want to do that and you go to delete it, but uh-oh, too late. By then, it's already been screen captured. It's already been sent out. So now you can give yourself a time period to undo the tweet. Now, right now, it can go up to 60 seconds, which I will select right there. But here's 
an interesting thing, and this is, by the way, why I think Twitter Blue is going to get celebrities and companies to pay for it. I believe that when they have a corporate Twitter Blue account, and I believe that they will have different colored tweets for celebrities and corporations, I think that's going to be a thing. I think it would do them well to, like, maybe expand this a little bit. Like, hey, um, do you, you can put up a tweet, but it'll take, like, an hour or two before the tweet actually goes live. That way, the handlers and stuff can look at it. They can decide whether or not that's within the person's best interest to send that tweet. Um, so, that's a... This is a very valuable feature if you're going to pay for Twitter. And here's the thing. If you're a celebrity, if you're an influencer, yeah, you might want to have this option available. And if Elon Musk makes it, we're like, hey, look, you can have a certain amount of time to undo the tweet and maybe give like a second or third pair of eyes to look at the tweet and see if that tweet is going to damage that person's brand or image. Then they can take that tweet down. So this is going to be something that will be worth paying for, in my opinion. This this might actually be the best asset. You can bookmark folders, that's fine. And, of course, you can select the text size for reading threads. Now, on the iOS app, which is the only place you can subscribe to Twitter Blue for the time being, so just a fun fact, if you are watching this within the first week or two of Twitter Blue, if you see someone who paid for a Twitter blue account you see their verified check mark you also know that they are an iphone user because right now ios is the only place that you can um upgrade to twitter blue but you can also select um your own stylized icons that you can change the design so it doesn't have to be like blue it can be like color or something i'll i'll kind of post a screenshot so you can see what i'm talking about but yeah so that's a nice little feature and uh, you know some people it's like okay yeah just so that i can change up the look of the website here and then and kind of personalize it for myself that might be worth paying eight dollars for you know so but i know what you all really want to be talking about what about the twitter blue verify oh wait there's one more thing i gotta talk oh wait well we'll get to that later what about the twitter blue check mark like the verified account like you know can it be ripe for abuse and the answer is yes and right now it seems like twitter seems to be acknowledging that the verified check mark could be used for abuse so what happens if you click on my verified check mark well it's a verified account the account is verified because it's subscribed to twitter blue and then you can learn more about it what about stephen king someone who is an author i personally love to read about um, and he is also verified. Like, you click on his, well, look at that. This account is verified because it's notable in government, news, entertainment, or other designated category. And this is why I think that there's going to be different colored check marks. I think what's going to happen is if you have a certain number of followers and you want to get verified as an authentic person or a reliable news source, then you're still going to have to pay for Twitter Blue. You're still going to have to pay for that check mark, but you will get a different colored check mark. And for that matter, it, you might have to pay more for Twitter Blue. And this is where I can see, like, companies and famous people, you know, this might be addressing their concerns while also making money. Because do you really think Stephen King cares about spending $8 a month for Twitter? I would hope not. Guy's worth $500 million. But... Stephen King might be willing to pay $25 a month if he could get like a purple check mark or a red check mark that basically says, yes, not only am I an authorized user, not only do I pay for Twitter, but guess what? I am Stephen King. Because, well, here, Twitter Blue is trending. You can kind of already see some of the people complaining about some of these problems. There was one in particular, like, uh, like parody accounts have already begun abusing Twitter's new verification plan, which gives a blue check mark to all subscribers via Twitter Blue. So, as you can see, this is a parody account, but it got verified because they're paying for it. And this thing says, "I'm officially requesting a trade. Thank you, Lakers Nation, for all the support through the years. 100 onto bigger and better things. The kid from Akron, I'm coming home. Obviously." That can create some problems if you are the official LeBron James. In fact, here's like a more concerning one. This is a Twitter Twitter account 
that is obviously not Twitter, but they're verified because they pay for it. So some of you might be asking, well, what does the verification process look like when you sign up for Twitter Blue? And the answer is it's honestly not anything so far. Um, I paid for it, therefore I got a check mark. I believe that this is going to have to change. And this is why I also think that they're going to have the different color check marks. Um, the different color check marks will mean different things. I think the blue check mark will basically be, okay, you've paid for this account. Um, but you will need to have a yellow check mark maybe for a parody account, a red one maybe for a celebrity, a purple account um, for a corporation. And heck, maybe if you are like a fundraiser um, account, like maybe you can give like an exclusive pink check to Twitter accounts that um, raise money for breast cancer or maybe a rainbow check for like the Trevor Project and things like that. I can see this going a lot farther than just the check mark. And I do understand why people are upset about this. I also understand the concern because here's the other thing that you get if you have a blue check you pay for. Is this a verified user? Okay, this is notable government. So, um, but anyway, if you are not a verified user, your tweets are going to be buried to the ground. Now, we've seen some parody accounts willing to pay for it, but one of the reasons that bots flock to Twitter is because they don't have to pay for it. I mean, Here's the thing, China and Russia, for example, uh, might be spreading disinformation on Twitter, but they're doing it for free. Do they want to spend hundreds of millions of dollars spreading that misinformation? I don't know, but um, it was definitely wise of Elon Musk to basically hold off on making this a thing until after the elections, because this could have easily been a thing. And I think we have enough time between now and the next election to basically... Um, refine the system. I don't think this is going anywhere. I think it's time for Twitter to actually be profitable. And the thing is, um, people have complaints about their information being sold and them being the product. This is how you are not the product. This is how you end up taking control of your online account. You pay for it and you can reduce the ads and everything. That's what you do. Now, there's some worrying concerns, but Here's the thing, I, I think Musk might be onto something, and again, you're getting more than just the blue check. You are getting, um, oh, that, that reminds me, you are getting all of these extra features, and the undo tweet might be one of the most popular ones. Now, at some point, you will be able to include NFT profile pictures if you are a Twinter blue subscriber. Your NFT profile pictures will be displayed in a special hexagonal shape, so that will let people know that you have an NFT. And, of course, you will have to connect your crypto wallet. That's coming soon. Definitely got mixed feelings about that one. I do have some NFTs. I've never paid for one. I just got free ones from AMC, and, you know, maybe I would like to use those. But considering that we're trying to or at least I think most people don't want NFTs to really be a thing. This might just legitimatize it. It might also be a secret weapon because people pay for NFTs for status, and now there's a social media website that gives that NFT more value. So I don't know. And you see, this is uh, apparently they've already gotten this um, crypt, uh, NFT profile picture right there. What the heck? I'll follow. Why not? Why not? So, uh, anyway, ooh, Azu ooh, Azuki, I, uh, let me make, sh let me make sure, verified, okay, I love Azuki, uh, that's gonna be, like, the next official problem, is, like, to have to click on it and find out whether or not it's a verified, verified account, or whether or not someone just pays for it. So, yeah, there's some kinks to work out, but so far, this is what it looks like. I will be removing the blue check mark. By the way, you can follow me on Twitter and, uh, subscribe to this channel if you want. I'd like to know what you guys think about this. Does this sway your opinion on Twitter Blue? Did you get Twitter Blue? Or do you still have some major concerns? I'd love to hear all of them. So comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe, and as always, flame responsibly. Have a good one.